Hello friends, so as part of the Project Masa and we look at the history of Rasa, so today I thought we would talk about improving entity extraction with lookup tables. So in 2018, Rasa introduced this feature into the Rasa NLU, which allows a lookup table for domain-specific training data. So the idea is that common libraries like Spacey and Duckling, they're good for general purpose, but they lack kind of domain-specific knowledge. So Rasa found out that when they introduced this lookup table with only very small number of samples, they're able to increase the F1 score solidly. So for example, let's say our chatbot, the goal is to recommend users on restaurants. And the lookup table might contain entities like sushi, pasta, pizza, etc. And the idea is that it is not a hard kind of hard matching table. Rather, it's trying to extract regex patterns and use that as a feature to featureize our intents and entities. Now, because it's a regex pattern matching, we want to keep our table very kind of well-defined and narrow scope because we don't want to match um, tokens like those in English stop words. For example, is R, him, it's If those patterns exist in our lookup table and it's matched, it can potentially make the score worse. And Russell also talked about uh, trying to keep the lookup table short because for obvious reason, when we scale up the number of uh, entities in the lookup table, training and evaluation time increases. So yeah, I find this technique quite uh, interesting because it's a straightforward way to incorporate domain specific knowledge um, into the training data. And yeah, if you, you're interested, feel free to check out the blog post here and also um, their GitHub demo. I'll put the links in the description.